Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to focus on rounding word problems. Rounded or approximate numbers are often used in everyday life when exact values are not important. People often say things like, it will take about two hours to get to the beach, or I need about 300 bricks to pave my driveway. These are approximate numbers, which are close enough to the exact values to make sense. Rounding and estimating are very useful for calculating as well. Today, we will focus on a few word problems that involve rounding. Let's take a look at our first problem. It reads, the exact masses of these four sweet potatoes are 369 grams, 378 grams, 399 grams, and 382 grams. Is it fair to say that they each have a mass of about 400 grams? Hmm, well, to solve this problem, we must round it. Round the numbers in the given problem. The numbers in the given problem that we are going to round are 369 grams, 378 grams, 399 grams, and 382 grams. We must round each number to see if we get 400 grams. Let's begin with the number 369. We identify the digit in the hundreds place, which is the three. We look to the right, and that will determine what we do to our circle digit. Because the digit to the right is greater than five, we add one to three. That gives us a total of four, and all of the other digits to the right of the circle digit become a zero. When rounded, 369 is equal to 400. Our next number is 378. Again, we identify the digit in the hundreds place. We look to the right and that determines whether we leave it alone or we add one more. The step that applies here tells us that if the number is five or more, we add one to the circled digit. Seven then, tells us that we add 1 to 3, which again will give us 4, and all of the digits to the right of our circled number become a 0. That means that 378 when rounded is equal to 400. The next number is 399. Again, we identify the digit in the hundreds place. We look to the right, and that will determine what we do. Because 9 is 5 or greater, we add 1 to 3. 3 plus 1 gives us 4, and all of the digits to the right become a 0. 399 when rounded is equal to 400. 382. Again, we identify the digit in the hundreds place. We look to the right to determine whether we will leave it alone or add one more. Eight tells us that we add one more to three. Three plus one is equal to four, and all of the digits to the right become a zero. 382, when rounded to the nearest hundred, equals 400. Is it fair to say that they each have a mass of about 400 grams? The answer is yes. Let's look at another problem. A baseball ticket costs $18.25. If you purchase six tickets, about how much money will you spend? Hmm, that's an interesting question. But again, we have to round it. What are we rounding? We are rounding the cost of the ticket, 
Another important number to note is the number 6. Now, we begin by rounding $18.25 and we're going to round that to the nearest tens. We identify the digit in the tens place, which is the digit 1. We look to the right and based on the digit 8, it tells me that I must add 1 to my digit 1 in the tens place. When I do that, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. All of the other digits to the right become a zero. $18.25 rounded to the nearest tens is equal to $20. Now, I take $20 and multiply it by the number 6. Let's multiply 20 times 6. 6 times 0 is equal to 0. 6 times 0 again is equal to 0. 6 times 0 again is equal to 0. Remember boys and girls that any number when we multiply it by 0 will give us 0. This is known as the 0 property. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Now I need to place my decimal point. When I look at the factor $20, there are two digits behind the decimal point in the number 20. Therefore, there must be two digits behind the decimal point in my answer. So when I go to the product, I place my decimal point here. That means that $20 times 6 is equal to $120. If you purchase 6 tickets, about how much money will you spend? you will spend about $120. Hmm, what about this? Look at this table, boys and girls. Which country has a population of about 300 million people? The important thing in this question is the number 300 million. We need to look at all of the countries identified in the table to see which number is closest to 300 million. So let's begin. Let's look at China. When we look at China, the population in China is 1,237,220,176. That number is way too big. So we know that that's not the country with about 300 million people. Next, we move to India. India has a population of 1,311,051,921. Again, that population is in the billions and we're trying to find about 300 million people. So that country has a population that is way too big. Now we look at the USA. The USA has a population of 324,709,211. Hmm, this number is right up our alley. But to see if this is the exact country, we must round this number. Let's round 324,709,211 to the nearest 100 millions place. First, we identify the digit in the 100 millions place. That is our digit 3. We look to the right to determine whether we are going to leave it alone or add one more. Because the digit 2 is less than 5, we are going to leave the circle digit alone. When we do that, the 3 remains the same and all of the other digits to the right become a 0. That gives us a number of about 300 million. 
So that means that yes, the USA has a population of about 300 million people. Remember boys and girls that you can round numbers and decimals to any place using the same rules. If the digit to the right of the rounding place is 5 or greater, add 1 to the digit in the rounding place. If the digit to the right of the rounding place is 4 or less, leave the digit in the rounding place unchanged. Replace the digits to the right of the rounding place with zeros. This lesson was created by Miss Antonia Bain.